few months ago, my friends and I had a most devilish idea. Go to the United States of America. Oh, you can't park there. Again. This idea was a good one, because it turns out America goes hard. So join us today as me and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of my idiot friends embark on this grand adventure. Five days in Los Angeles. Pull over, asshole! Drive Pull over, asshole. asshole! Two days in an alpine lake house. <laughs> three days at the Grand Canyon. And nine whole days in fabulous Las Vegas. <laughs> so, let us begin. <laughs> but before we begin, World of Tanks! That's right, mongrels! Oh. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. Do you ever dream about becoming a tank? Do you want to die in a war? Do you find yourself daydreaming about the destruction of France? And do you. Uh, uh, tanks! World of Tanks! The greatest, most least expensive free tank game ever created. You can drive this, or this, or even this. It's incredible. But Mart, what can be better than the beautiful gift of life? Giant weapons! Guns! Hot steamy loads! I can assure you 75mm is well above average! Download World of Tanks right now with the link in the description and use my special super secret uber secret ultra mega secret invite code COMBAT to claim a bunch of free stuff! New players get 250,000 credits, 7 days of premium access, 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each! Like one 3 on T78 and Type 64 and the Cromwell <laughs> Sit up straighter, stop slouching you lazy fuck! Existing players get 3 days premium, this funky camouflage and a 7 day rental of this sick as fuck tank! Already have this sick as fuck tank? How about a little walking around money, huh? 100,000 credits of a walking around money, you know what I'm saying? Click the link in park, I mean link in the description, and use code COMBAT and transform your stale, decrepit life. Thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Anyway. Day 1. Before we could do anything silly, we'd have to actually get to America. We had a few options. Swim, dinghy, stow away on a cargo ship, flap our arms really really hard, or buy airline tickets and fly there. We chose airline tickets because flapping our arms is very tiring. So, we all loaded up on a few different planes and began the very long, arduous journey to LAX. All ten of us. Martin, that's me, Tristan, Sydney, Kai, Arlo, Tim, Seamus, Simon, Harrison, and Nathan. Well, that's the whole cast. Let's get to LA. On the flight over, Sydney went Unibomber mode and spent literally the entire flight playing blackjack. Tristan found a watch in the airport worth nearly $100,000. And... The face. Kai and Seamus got some early morning wakey wakey beers. Nathan sent this rather silly text to the group chat. Tell him you saw Seamus put a ball in his bag. At the exact moment, Seamus gave his phone to airport staff. Resulting in Seamus getting grilled by security for about 20 minutes, and I got a great view of all the places we would be going on this trip. The desert, the lake, the mountains, and sunny Los Angeles. So, the first group arrived and went to collect the rental car. On foot, with their bags, on a walk that looks like this, for an hour. When there's a free shuttle. Well done, gents. Once they did get the car, they took it back to the Airbnb, unloaded their stuff, and came back to the airport to get me. Situation update, the traffic got worse. So far, all was going to plan. But this was when I received a harrowing message. Mart, we wrote off the rental. Four hours in, and it was already so fucking over. We lost Seamus. Bruh. What happened to Seamus? Sydney has no reception, but he is so fun king sorry. <laughs> he is so fun king sorry. So, um, what actually happened to Seamus? Well, nothing. Yep, that's right. I got pranked. With that complete fucking catastrophe averted, we continued back to the house. But, on the way, I received a text from my agent. Hello, Mart. Would you like to come to a cool party? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm just landing with all my friends. There's free drinks. Mm -hmm. One quick detour to the party's entrance later, which was in Skid Row. Yes, that Skid Row. The graffiti looks cool, though. And I had arrived. This party touted some featured guests, like this random guy, and this random guy, and Sapnap. Oh, and uh, the Kid Leroy was also performing. So that was cool. 
Anyway, I loaded myself up on free drinks, took a few hard images, listened to the child Larry go, and that was that. Back to the house. Here they are, boys. Fucking aliens. Okay. Back at the house, I realized we had picked well. Lots of beds, lots of space, and a chill as fuck balcony. So, it was about 10 p.m., we could go to bed, or we could take those scooters right there to a nightclub. Well, that was pretty good. Let's go to bed. Day two. We woke up, jumped on the balcony, and had a chill. Yeah. There were still some people who hadn't yet arrived. So once we were done stuffing our face with breakfast, guy noodle. we set off back to LAX. This is where we also got our second rental car, another identical Toyota Sienna. One of these bad boys, legally speaking, holds seven people, but we have ten. So we were like, fuck it. Let's get two. Two cars are always better than one. Hey, get off the fucking road, asshole! Lunch, Denny's. I had a lot of good things to say about Denny's last year, but this year we branched out a bit and tried some of the more different items on the menu. This was a terrible mistake. Kai ordered a deep fried steak. Arlo got this sandwich with about 18,000 layers of ham in it, and the table just generally looked unsettlingly orange. Well, that was disappointing. C tier. Now, last night was pretty fun, but that little montage we did might have oversold things a bit. Just a bit. Tonight, however, was Friday night, and Friday nights in LA tend to go pretty hard. But before going out, we'd need a solid, powerful, invigorating hype rotation. And for said hype rotation, we'd need supplies. So, we bought the essentials. Some 40 ounce bottles of beer, which are huge, four loco, which is also huge, and rhinoceros boner pills. Yeah, we didn't buy those. Anyway, it was time to hype the fuck up. Blackjack, but drinking. Whenever someone won, they'd pour a bit of drink in this cup. And if someone hit blackjack, they'd have to drink it. But what about the dealer, you might say? Well, we thought about that too. No. If two people hit blackjack, the dealer drinks. <laughs> Done! It's a f***ing <laughs> beggar! Oh, yeah. That's it's never happening. They drink. That's, that's never happening. That's Sometimes. 1 in 252 odds. <laughs> 1 in 252 million is f***ing idiot. Can you guess what happened next? <laughs> Ready for the double blackjack? Ready for six of f***ing drink? To the top, to the top. That's it, that's enough. Hey. Put on the cards and my jacket, my no, on, the cards. on the velour! Is this velvet? Alright, let's go. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> I'm, ha I'm happy, as long as you just carry me home later. It's, it's over. Shaking the fuck it's up. Done. Meanwhile, Kai had been steadily polishing off this drink. But what was this drink? Well, take one 40 ounce of beer, drink half of it, and fill it back to the top with four loco. <laughs> Gentlemen, behold the sidewalk slammer. And by now, Kai had finished it. And with that, don't feel shit. Let's go to the club. Day three, we woke up, a guttural experience. Who the fuck's this? Uh, who the fuck is that? Well, dear viewer, that's Smelvin, our silly friend we met last night. So, uh, what actually happened last night then? Well, shortly after arriving, we met Smelvin, 
got a few drinks in us, Ow. and then Hawkeye started absolutely fighting for his life against the sidewalk slammer. He lost, and they got sent home. We moved on to the next place, where Sydney witnessed several domestic incidents hey, take place at once. I witnessed Smelvin perform an absolute blunder with a woman, and Tristan, well, he can take it from here. Look at her! Honk honk! Mm, honk honk! Anyway, that's all in the past now. What was on the agenda for today? We'd been enjoying our city boy, nightclub, bussin', for real for real, 100 emoji, never seen a cow in my entire life sort of dude lifestyle. But what about America's more yee ass redneck sort of activity? Yeah! That's right, we would be partaking in the cultural institution of NASCAR. Hell yeah, brother! I love NASCAR! Yeah! But that wouldn't be until the evening, so in the meantime... Oh watch, out, watch out for the poo. Is it yeah, Ooh, where? Ooh. Fucking stop. Ooh. There is actually <laughs> Breakfast. Then picking up Nathan from the airport, who was the last to arrive, and going to Walmart. Walmart. At Walmart, we gathered very important supplies, like beer, and oh, a yes. bit more beer. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And... Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Fucking... White castle sliders. I think I might kill myself. With our fridge stocked up with all the supplies a group of 10 men could ever need, it was NASCAR time. So back in the cars, onto the highway, and into the Irwindale Speedway's enormous parking lot. A parking lot full of giant pickup trucks, and a large number of Americans who, um, uh, you know, like, inside the complex itself, they played the national anthem, and everyone, literally everyone, stopped what they were doing put their hands on their hearts, and listen. Which we thought was pretty odd. And before we knew it, it was time to watch some cars drive in circles. And oh boy, did they do just that. I'm tucking out from all these races. I could really do with some- Wait, what? Do you hear that? Oh my god, it's the- It's the Gummy Bear song! And they're giving out Gummy Bears! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, NASCAR time was over, but this event wasn't just NASCAR. It was also a demolition derby. And fellas, it was derby time. The VLC media player car one. Anyway, I guess we should go home. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? Is that. That's a fucking rhinoceros! Okay, surely that's the end of the event. Okay, that's enough. Let's go home. You know what I notice is that, like, most Americans are fucking obese. Well, that was fun. A tier. So, what next? Well, we could go home, cook up dinner, have an early night, and be refreshed and ready to take on tomorrow. Or... Nightclub. Sydney was gracious enough to be our designated sober driver. But only Sydney. So we only had one car. Gentlemen, I present to you... The Clown Car. <laughs> Go in a video, will it? I mean, maybe. Bad. Are we breaking the law? No. Uh, hold on a minute, guys. Guys, what's what, what's going on? Guys, guys, where are you? Guys, guys, I think we went to the wrong place. Guys, guys, there is a very suspicious woman here. Please, guys, guys. Well, no vacancy. I'm Miss Angie, and it's my job to show you the way it's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, all right. What?
Day four began, and we woke up. This was a rather unpleasant experience. Our breakfast today was a classic American cereal, Lucky Charms, and Seamus had come up with a brilliant combination to cure his hangover. Sometimes artistic expression requires genius. Beautiful! Get in there, get in there, mate. Get a big heaping spoonful of this. <laughs> Don't worry about it, mate. Right there, right there. <laughs> yeah, that was <is> awful. <laughs> The rest of the guys had some bacon and eggs, and we made sure to tip all of the bacon grease down the sink for the sink gnomes to eat. Mmm. Yum. Speaking of sink gnomes, does anyone remember in this video where I mentioned the six-way, all-stop sign intersection in Beverly Hills? No. Why not? Well, there's an intersection in Beverly Hills that is six ways and all stop signs, which we thought was such a curious piece of traffic engineering that we collectively decided, fuck it, Beverly Hills is pretty close, let's check it out. So, we loaded up in the cars and drove to Beverly Hills. The drive there was quite an interesting experience. You see, Hollywood is quite dire. Lots of homelessness, lots of grime, lots of crackheads, and lots of funky smells. But just a few miles down the road, things had changed drastically. The dirt and grime was gone. The homelessness was gone. The hedges were getting taller. The roads were quieter and wider. The cars were nicer. The roads were lined with flowers. And the houses were absolutely huge. Fucking bullshit. Gentlemen, we had arrived in the quiet streets of Beverly Hills. Three, two, one, go! go, 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 go. How are they so much faster than us? Because I'm in the back seat. Tristan's, Tristan's a fat bastard. Beverly Hills was like a completely different city. A completely different city with very questionable traffic management. Case in point, the intersection. Uh, uh, car accident, car accident incoming. Uh, 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 of course, we parked up and examined it more closely on foot. Wow. This place is just weird. So as you can see, we are in a business meeting right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty Dave over here as well. Huh? Nearby was also this nice park, so we checked that out too. My horny ass could not tend a koi garden. <laughs> no, Someone throw a rock at it, I've never seen that animal before. Oh, Alright, well, I'd say we'd seen a good amount of the rich area. Now, back to the crackheads. Well, I need you bad, man. Gentlemen, we were going to Santa Monica Pier. Once again, like last year, it was full of curious characters. Preachers. Put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Street performers that took so long to do their performance that we got bored and left. Come around and collect your money! Plenty of those aforementioned crackheads and this cat backpack thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. At the end of the pier, we sat down and watched the sunset. Well, that was Jill. You're a pretty bird. So, we went back to the cars, and I completely forgot to visit the wall shit spot again. Damn. Speaking of wall shits... I'm hungry. Taco Bell. <laughs> Once again, it turns out that Taco Bell is actually pretty good. Well, it's not even that bad. Yeah. How's that face? It's actually so good. <laughs> I like Taco Bell. S tier. Okay, well, let's go to bed. Day five. We woke up feeling fine. <laughs> kind of crazy that not getting shit faced results in better sleep. Today was our last day in LA, and we'd noticed something disturbing. All of our phones had a severe lack yeah. of hard photos. To remedy this, I have scouted a location and come up with a plan. The Hollywood sign. 
But before that, we need to fuel ourselves with some breakfast at Burger King. This particular Burger King had a crackhead outside, which is always a good sign, and the food was actually pretty good. Yeah, oh, Burger Jr. Jr. is pretty good. A tier. <laughs> with our bodies fueled up and back in the cars, on we drove to the Hollywood sign and past this Scientologist center. My favorite YouTuber, Martin Cito Pants. He's a fucking Scientologist. He's a fucking Scientologist? He acts Dianetic as fuck. Ah. Oh. He has type 3 Dianetics. Yeah. <laughs> and before we knew it, the hard photo. I'd give the Hollywood sign a B tier. But you know what? I think we need more hard photos. And where else to get more hard photos than a museum full of cars? Like this one. And this one. And, uh... Yeah. Lots of cars. My personal favourites were this car for Soviet leaders, this particular steel ball that did nothing significant whatsoever, and this... thing. Yeah, that's a car. Well, that's a good amount of hard photos. Food time. Carl Jr. Carl Jr. was pretty generic. I'm gonna kill my we are currently out of price tier. But also pretty good. So we decided on B tier. Carl Jr. Okay, you know what? I think we might just need more hard photos. See, these just weren't doing it for us. They lacked a certain amount of drip. A certain amount of drip we could acquire from these vintage stores. Tristan found this. And I found this Daytona jacket. With our drip firmly secured, we left the store and began heading back to the cars. That was until we spotted a familiar face across the road. Yo! What the fuck? What the fuck, Ray? Oh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> no, why are you guys here? <laughs> and this time, he was with a woman. Let's fucking go, Smelvin! Yeah! Then we went to the Griffith Observatory. Well, where do we at the Griffith Observatory? <laughs> well, where do we at the, at the well, Griffith <laughs> Observatory? Well, where do we at the Griffith Observatory? <laughs> Griffith Observatory, eh, C tier. Literally. Back home, it was time for dinner, and so the local Italian, Simon, got to work. With an army hearties. Army hearties. Arguing with Tim about how to cook the pasta. The situation. There's no place to cook your pasta. Tell me, man. I have an idea. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And then put sauce in the pot, and then the boiling water in the pot after Four. the pasta. What the fuck are you talking about? I trust the process. Otherwise, we have to re-boil water. Yeah. Thank you. It doesn't take care of it. That's, that's, that's not a big deal, that's bro. Not a big that's choice. okay. <laughs> we can re-boil water. <laughs> Why don't you freeze it as well so we can use boiling water later? <laughs> Wait, just fuck it. Do we need a film? No, stop, stop. Just fucking, fucking pour it down the sink. What are you oh doing? Just I'm pour so it down the sink. Tim, just pour it down the sink. Look. Dinner was yum, we got there in the end, it was a bit of a struggle, but it was yum. Now, we needed more supplies. Supplies that we would be able to get from this very normal, totally ordinary corner store. That sold tasers. Naturally, we tased Sydney. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna fucking eat it. I'm gonna fucking eat it. What the yeah. fuck? Sadly, only one of the barbs made a proper connection. So to actually get tased, he had to touch the other barb on the floor. This just wouldn't do. So we stepped it up a notch. That sounds fun. Oh, no, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. You didn't get me. I can see this one. This one hurts more. This one hurts more. Go, go, go. This one hurts way more. Alright, in the back, in the back, in the back. In the back, in the back. That was This is around the time when we noticed a newcomer entering the building. A tall, intense looking dude with a big scar on his cheek. We told him we just taste Sydney and he went. Hmm. He then began talking with the shopkeeper. He bought himself a police scanner. Got a little tutorial on how to use it from the shopkeeper, and left. Uh, right. Overall, that shop, S tier. But you know what isn't S tier? The White Castle sliders 
sitting in the freezer. This was our last night after all, and they probably wouldn't survive three plus hours of driving in the hot car tomorrow. So, reluctantly, we opened them up, defrosted them, stacked them like bricks to create the true White Castle. Fucking, you're the king of the White Castle, <laughs> And ate. These were, no exaggeration, the worst pieces of frozen food I have ever had the displeasure of consuming. I know. Fuck me, that is not good. <laughs> and Seamus thought so too. Why the fuck would you do that? Why the Bro. fuck would you throw that at the window? It was white when I saw it. This really made me think, man, Americans have it rough when it comes to food. No wonder they have a reputation for looking like... This. F tier. Again. Anyway, tomorrow we'd be traveling to the lake house, so we got in bed and slept. Day six. Traveling to the Alpine Lake House in Big Bear Lake. We'd been having such a good time in LA that leaving it set a cloud of melancholy over us. We bid farewell to the LA house and set off for the mountains. Any last words? Bye. Bye. Good bye. Hollywood Boulevard. Bye. Bye. Good bye. Hollywood Boulevard. I reckon squirrel taste so good that you have to eat like ten at a time. Once we'd made our way out of LA, the scenery got substantially prettier. Lads, this is beautiful. But you know what this place here needs desperately? A Walmart. Oh wow, look at that. In Walmart, we bought more food and supplies for our 10 hungry tum-tums, like goobers. Look, gooba. They got you in a job, bro. I fucking love gooba. I'm they a got gooba. You. And, uh... Bro. Brother, why? Mm. If you want to shoot it, you have to Back on the road, we had begun ascending into the mountains, and the scenery was getting pleasant of and pleasant of. Up here, we could look down into the valley and see the vast sprawl that is LA. Well, we would have been able to see LA if it wasn't for the pungent, thick, juicy layer of smog covering all of it. Wonderful. I give LA Smog an F tier. And what do you know? Big Bear Lake. All right, we've seen him now. Let's go to Vegas. All right, Vegas. Yeah, we're done. Let's okay, go to Vegas. All right. What were we actually doing here? Well, I wanted to go to a lake house since it seems chill, but why specifically Big Bear Lake? Well, during the planning phase of this trip, I heavily relied on Google Maps. I'd scour the map, look around, use the 3D view, use Street View, and generally look at my computer and go. Hmm. While looking over Big Bear Lake, I spotted an intriguing town nearby. Not Big Bear, but a far smaller one to its north. I thought to myself, eh, show the boys, and they went, eh, and the rest is history. Well, this was nice. Okay, I'm bored. Pelagon time. I give pellet gun time an S tier. Well, that was fun. Time for lunch. Jack in the box. Just kind of. Yeah. So, C tier. Okay, back to the cabin. Right in here, we got the games room. Oh, I say, how we doing, boys? Martin's just chilling. <laughs> okay, I'm bored again. It's boat time. Boat time consisted of driving the boat, seeing the Big Bear Lake Solar Observatory, which takes photos like this, seeing these helicopters, for some reason, and doing boat burnouts. I give boat time... 80. It was good. Okay, for real this time, let's go back to the cabin and the boys want to check out the town. 
Okay, well we still had two cars, so Tristan, Nathan and I hopped in one of them and took it back home. While the boys were enjoying themselves looking at various funky stores like the Boneyard, we were at home freaking the fuck out because of a smell. Gas. We scrambled to do what we could. We opened all the windows, checked everywhere for the source of the leak. We frantically tried to get a draft going, but to no avail. Boys, there was a gas leak in the house. Fuck me dead. Shit is so fuck. Guys, I'm fucking sorry. Huh? House blow up. House blow up. Yeah, that didn't happen. House blew up. <laughs> <laughs> well, the gas leak did happen, but the house didn't blow up. We just opened all the windows, turned the stove off, and it was fine. And with that devilish prank completed, burgers, yeah. and bed. Day seven. Nothing. Literally fuck all. We sat around the cabin, drank beer. Would you rather have your dick hang a load in your balls, or your balls hang a load in your dick? And went to bed. <laughs> Day 8. Our time at Big Bear Lake had come to an end, and today we'd be plunging deeper into the American West, on the way to the Grand Canyon. Keen to hit the road, we packed everything back into the cars, did a final check of the house, and breakfast. El pollo loco. The crazy chicken. To me, the crazy chicken is just the normal chicken. Inside this fine establishment, we ordered our food. Olo got a wonderful new name. Oh. <laughs> La, and we ate. Shockingly, it was very good. We also checked their stock price for some reason. It's pretty crazy. Let me tell you, it's good. And so we bestowed upon it our greatest honor. S tier. The road to the Grand Canyon was long, especially because we wanted to go through Joshua Tree National Park and have a gander at the Joshua Trees. In total, we had over six hours on the road ahead of us, so we swallowed the burritos whole and piled back into the Siennas. Joshua Tree National Park goes hard. Oceans of small shrubs with these huge rocky mountains jutting out, and of course, Joshua Trees. Naturally, we had to check it out, and also piss. Group pissing session starts now. Fellas are pissing. Fucking piss central here, bro. On this desert road, we learned many things, like the car's top speed on Google is wrong. The US military just be doing stuff in the desert with VTOL aircraft for some reason. Fuck, oh, that's so cool. The desert's pretty cool, and um... That's a bug right there. Ooh. Where? Right there. Just move it with a stick, you fucking moron. Uh, yeah, that's it. Before long, the desert road had given way to the Colorado River, and over the other side of it, Arizona. Just in time for lunch at Wendy's. London Bridge in Arizona. <laughs> bloody baffled I am. You're what? I'm bloody losing my marbles. Wait, oh, this man is losing his mind. Now, to be blunt, Wendy's was, uh, uh, it was bad. The food was dry, the chips were bad, the nuggets were bad, and they misspelled almost everyone's names. Alo, Shamus, Tristan, and uh, Bonald. Who the fuck is Bonald? D tier. Fucking just bad. 150 miles of chill as fuck road later, we'd reached our next destination. Walmart. <laughs> Inside, Simon found some curious products. It's called the free piece tactical kit. A torch, pliers, and a fucking knife. What, 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 do, you, what do you need this for? It's like you're, you're like in the bar trying to fix something on your car and there's a fucking bear attacking you. <laughs> While one of the cars was at Walmart making important purchases for our hungry tum-tums, the car I was driving made its way to Big Five Sporting Goods. We were here to have a look at their wares, and their wares did not disappoint. Wait a second, this is, this is just Walmart. Okay, back to the road, and night time. Night driving is chill. Finally, we had reached the dirt track, trees a bit bumpy, and before we knew it, we had arrived at the Grand Canyon Shack. First things first, let's examine our wares. You know, the usual bits of food like some mints and a bit of spaghetti and uh, three BB oh, guns, a SIG MCX, a lever action thing, and a Glock. I gotta say, BB guns make for exceptional props.
then dinner and oh no, the person logged into this TV isn't subscribed to me. What are we gonna do? Yeah! You better subscribe. Anyway, it was bedtime, and bedtime would bring us to one of this house's special surprises. The stack. Day 9. So, why were we here in bumfuck nowhere Arizona in the first place? The answer may shock you. Grand Canyon. So, one breakfast, shoot a BB gun, and get into the car later, we were on the road to the Southern Rim. This is where we discovered something truly unnerving. A roundabout. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously, we hadn't seen a single roundabout the entire time we'd been in America. And I knew a couple of places where it would make a lot of sense. You know, like it would make a lot of sense. We arrived in the parking lot, found a squirrel. He took the joke seriously. These nuts in his mouth and walked over to the edge of the South Rim. Alright, we weren't just here to look at it, we were here to walk. So we started walking. Going down was fairly easy, and we reached the bottom in a little over two hours. Hooray! Hooray! And this is where I surprise the boys with a little treat. Instead of having to walk all the way back up, we were gonna... Hey, 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 where are you going? Hey, hey, get back here! There he goes, there goes our ride. What the fuck are we gonna do? Oh man. Shit. And so, the ascent began. The ascent, no surprise, was much, much harder than the descent. This wasn't helped by our insistence of ascending as fast as we could. Chat shit again, mate. So up we went. Can't hear ya. I'm so fucked. I'm, fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh, I'm still going. Tell me that is not fucking every colour you could imagine. <laughs> Hey, mister. Normal day at the office. And an hour and 50 minutes later, Tristan and I had reached the top. A bit further down, however, were Sydney and Harrison. Day 145, walking through the Grand Canyon. Oh. We are lost. There is no one in sight. We are almost at the ridge. We are running low on water, and nut bars, <laughs> and the squirrels are starting to look tempting. Once all of us had collected at the top, we watched the last bit of sunset, found this railway, took a few silly ones, and bought ourselves some yummy pizza. I give the Grand Canyon an S tier. Back home, we watched some important items on the TV, like, uh, tweaker compilations. It's, do you enjoy this? I love, I love pieces. And, slowly drifted to sleep. Nathan, while outside, took these very nice photos of the clear night sky, and Simon, of course, captured some dastardly ones while we were vulnerable. And with that, back to the stack, and sleep. Day 10. 
We arose from the stack and discovered something incredible outside. Can you guess what it was? I bet you weren't thinking solar eclipse. I'm dead serious. We had literally not planned for this even a little bit, but as luck would have it, the Arizona shack was directly in the eclipse's path. So, I looked up and even though most of the sun was obscured, it still looked like the sun, but using some quick thinking and several pairs of sunglasses, we created this. The sun looks like the moon. That's because well, they're, they're, they're both right there. <laughs> Look at this fool. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's looking I pretty can, cool, oh, right? It's only like a tiny bit of the sun covered though. Yeah, well it's, it's getting more. The eclipse was a partial solar eclipse, meaning the moon wouldn't be fully covering the sun. About 200 miles away, however, the sun looked like this. Being under the eclipse was strange. Of course, it never went completely dark, but it did get pretty cold. And not to mention, shadows. It was odd to think that there were probably thousands of people all around us, many of them having no idea this was happening above them right now. Passenger train during the solar eclipse. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? There we are. What the f That is crazy. I think it's going away now. Then, we shot the sun. Wait. Freeze! Huh? Stop resisting! I give the eclipse an S tier. Today we had absolutely nothing planned, so we spent the entire day shooting the BB guns. Literally all day. Three, two, one. Nice. We started with about 3,000 BBs and ended with zero. S tier. I love BB guns. Seamus got this nice view of the sunset, we cooked some questionable looking lasagna for dinner, and that was that. Back to the stack, gents. Bed dog. Tomorrow was going to be an early one, because we were going to our final destination, Las Vegas. And to the South Point 400 NASCAR race. Next time. Thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Use code COMBAT, get your walking around money, and uh, goodbye.